churches of Liabella are one of the wonders of the world. Built in the 12th century, these 11 underground churches were cut out of solid rock and sunk 50 feet below the surface. You got these churches from the 12th century, carved out of solid rock, absolutely incredible. And you go inside them and they're like real, I don't know, like a shrine I suppose, obviously they're, they're living churches, they're working churches. It took 23 or 24 years to, to build these churches out of solid uh, stone, you know, solid rock. Start at the top, just work the way down. It's been estimated that the builders had to move 150,000 tons of rock over two decades to complete this project. And now we are going to explore this labyrinth of tunnels and sealed mazes. To do this, we have brought our tiny camera, lower in quality, but it can see through small gaps and reveal hidden rooms and tunnels. We're heading now into the underground tunnel system that links these rock churches together. There's some of them that still haven't been explored because they just can't get into them without destroying the entrance. Down the tunnel into another church. What do you think? I'm oh, very impressed, very impressed indeed. We have the duck your head, it's so small. That's certainly incredible being down in this tunnel which is uh, 50 meters long. I mean, chiseled out of the solid rock. Um, that's part of 800 years ago. Connected one church to a, another church. Be careful in a few places, it's a bit low on the head. complex took us back in time to a lost age, locked inside Ethiopia, and the priests here claim to know where the original Ark of the Covenant is kept. Every Ethiopian Orthodox Church contains a replica of the Ark in a part of their churches which they call the Holy of Holies. But only the priests are allowed to go beyond the curtain to be near it. Inside these churches we found many Jewish and Christian symbols and some believe that this could have been the perfect hiding place for the Ark of the Covenant. But now only a replica resides here. Yet, if we could just examine a replica, we could discover if it meets the biblical criteria for the Ark. However, the priest indicated that this was not possible. They reckon that 40,000 people would have had to work on this to make it. So much work involved. They had primitive tools as well. King Liabella, the one who had the vision of doing this and went to Jerusalem, supposedly brought back a seal of Solomon. In each church, a replica of the Ark of the Covenant resides. According to the tradition, right at the top there is the seal that came from Jerusalem with King Liabella of Solomon. And there's a big pillar that's covered up, which uh, it's got the revelation on, it's got uh, the Ten Commandments on, and King Liabella, according to their tradition, saw this vision. comes up round here to this point which is where you enter into the main church. The Holy of Holies always has to face towards Jerusalem because of the Ark of the Covenant being inside. You say this is the Holy of Holies though? Oh okay yeah. 